Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to clean the mail end of the servo extension cables of the autopilot. We're going to need uh, a shrink tube to put on the end, an exacto knife to cut the isolation, insulation, uh, a crimp, some clippers, wire stripper, and the most important is the wire crimper. Okay. Uh, we have the pins here, the connector here, and the connector cover here. So first, I peel two inches of the coaxial cable insulation. I cut it alongside being careful not to cut the the cables okay it's got a mesh coaxial mesh here so I cut the insulation off okay then I do I push the mesh like this so that I can get the wires out from the end. As such, as such. Okay. Then I cut off the complete mesh. The mesh is going to be grounded on the other side, on the female side of the extension. So this this side doesn't have to be grounded. So I can actually cut it off and get rid of it. And put the, the shin tubing. This will help me later cover this bit of mesh that's, uh, that's there. Okay, I have a white wire, and white and orange wire, and a blue wire. The white wire is always ground. The orange and white is, uh, is uh, five volts and the blue and white is the signal. I need to peel these three cables, these three wires, about one eighth of an inch. One, two, three one eighth of an inch okay and then I use the first okay the smallest crimping uh, section of this tool so this is the way I install the pin you can see it there so it's ready for crimping it's, we have to crimp it twice the second one is here for the cable insulation, but the first one we crimp the wires. So I go in here, put the wire in there, and crimp it. See, it's nice and hard. Okay, I usually cut off a little bit of the of the insulation crimp. Okay, then I try to join it like this, so it's not uh, sticking out. And then crimp it again with, with the same crimping tool. Okay, so I've crimped the wire and the insulation. Do the same with the other ones. This is a live demonstration, so anything can happen. Make sure the wires are put in there and crimp. Do this, cut the ends off a little bit, do this, and again. Crimp it 
split my thread in two. I do the same with the other one. Have the pin. Insert the wires. Crimp. Nice and hard. Make it smaller. Cut. And crimp. Oops. Wrong way. Wrong way. Okay. Now that we have the three wires crimped, they, they should all be about the same length. Well, mine are not exactly the same length, but should be as as, as, as close as possible to be in the same length. Okay. Now I get the connector. Uh, this is the the front side of the connector where the pins are going to protrude. So I hold it like this, facing me. And the first one on the bottom is the white, which is ground. I just insert it there until it clicks. See, it clicked in there. Then the in the middle, the orange and white until it clicks, and then the signal, which is the white and blue, until it clicks. And then the cover. Okay, if you look inside, there is a uh, let me show you. Around here, inside, there is a stop, so it, it will click onto that stop. So we need to insert this on on the window here, like that. Okay, until it clicks. So we have to make sure we don't, we don't insert the backwards. So the we have to look inside and see that. The clip is around here, so I insert it this way, again until it clicks, and that's it. All you have to do now is string the tube, connect to the spreader.